Good morning, folks. Beautiful morning here on the Tennessee River. Um, I spent probably an hour or so trying to catch me some bait. Well, I did. I caught a few shiners and also some shad. They're not very big. Today, my intentions was to target big fish, but you need big bait for big fish, so we're just gonna catch what we can. And uh, I'm gonna use real light tackle with the size of bait I have today. So, uh, and you never know, a big fish, I hit a small bait. Some of these baits is probably three and a half, four inches. And that's about it. But it's a good size to catch numbers of fish. Uh, I caught them with a six foot Betts cast net. Uh, didn't show that because bait's a little hard to come by this year. A lot different year than it was last year. Every year's different. Every day's different. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. Let's have us some fun. Woo! All right. That wind's blowing pretty stiff right here. Uh, now I'm in 30 feet of water right here. And if I'm not mistaken, I seen some fish schooling right here and right on the back side of this. Now, it might have been the way the sun was hitting the waves when I was coming in here. A lot of times that'll fool me, but I believe they were fish. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of bait fish around 10 to 12 feet suspended. That's about right this time of year. Water's hot. All right, let's bait up with one of these. I'm going to drop it down to about that level. We'll start off with that. And I'll show you what I'm fishing with today. What I have right here is called a crappie slasher made by Trinity Rods, Trinity Custom Rods, excuse me, Fisher of Men. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you who sent me this. He also sent me a, uh, a reel, but this reel was already loaded with six pound test lines, so I just stuck this old Mitchell uh, 308 on here. It's a vintage reel and I seen a fish surface right there. They're not very big So I've got the right size bait for it real limber rod matter of fact, it's a three-piece rod and I believe it's around six foot eight long. It don't tell on the rod uh, And I believe it's fiberglass but real limber. We're fixing to have some fun in here today. Uh, and my rig is nothing but a 1 16th ounce bullet weight with a bobber stop with a size one eagle claw bait holder hook tied with a trilene knot. This is a small gizzer shad. One of about three and a quarter inches. I'm gonna put this, let this bait, wait a minute. Well, we got a fish on here, let's get him. There he is. Oh, man, doubled over, I'm talking about. I can tell it's not that big a fish, folks. But on this rod, it is. What do we got? I want y'all to look right here. Golly. That was a big shad, one of about three and a quarter inches long. Look here what we got. Can y'all believe that? Big black crappie. Ain't that something? Didn't expect that. You never know. When you're, when you're out fishing, one never knows. There's no doubt about it. That's why. We need to go fishing when we can because it's good for us. Let's let him go. Go on back in there. Boy, that water's hot. Big slab crappie. Now, that was on a big shad, folks. Big shad. Let's get on back in here and see what we can catch. Whoa. 
fixing to move on up that way. And I got bit right here. Yeah, he's there. Something. Let's see what we got. Y'all ready? There we go. Look here. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Let's get him in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, I anticipated that. <laughs> Pretty good crappie. But I'm surprised how big of a shad he hit after all these years of crappie fishing. Quit. I'm going to let you go. Dang, they're stout. They're stout because there's a lot of current out here and they feel good. Ain't that something, folks? Let me lay this fish right here in the bucket and I'll get a shad. We'll put it on right here and I'll show you how big of a shad he hit. Can y'all see that? Pretty good size. Let's let this fish go. Come on back, boy. Go on back. Water's so hot. There he goes. Okay. Let's see if we can catch another crappie. I knew them were crappie. I kept missing them. So I changed to a size 4 eagle claw rotating hook. And maybe that would make a difference. That fish was about, I'm going to say, let's say 20 feet deep. So I'm going to put it back down there about 20 feet deep. I'm just going to let that shad just swim around. Or I might just pick him up like that. Let him fall back real slow. <laughs> what do we got right here? Look here. Look at here, folks. Look at here. Look at here. That's the kind of fish we're talking about. Let's net this fish right here. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's get him quit. That thing jumped. Now there's a slab crappie right there. That's what I meant to talking about right there. Good one. Good fish. Woo! I tell you what. There's a lot of crappie baits on the market. Now, I'm not trying to... <laughs> let, 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 me, let me get this hook out. That's a good fish right there. See how girthy? Big fish right there. Now, there's a lot... Let's let this fish go. There's a lot of crappie baits on the market. But they're artificial. When it comes to fishing, fishing... Live bait is hard to beat. That's what they eat. Go on back. Golly, bum. Y'all see that? Let's catch another one. Woo wee. Folks, I got lucky. Okay, I ran out of bait, my shad died, and what I did is I tried to find me some shad or shiners or bait fish, let's put it that way, that was small enough to catch crappie. I'm going to let the crappie go because I cannot find no small bait, but I got lucky and I threw my net over about two dozen shiners, golden shiners. Now most of them is about four and a half to five inches. There's a few in here that's about six inches. Uh, I'm an opportunist. Now we have about 24 chances to catch a pretty good bass today. And I'd like to do that. So let's go bass fishing. Change everything up, different species. Let's see if we can catch a bass. See, the, that's about the average size right there. That's about five and a half inches probably. Will nose hook him and work for a big bass. Maybe there's some in here. I don't rightly know. Basically, uh, 
this video is all about live bait fishing. Now, opportunistic situations like this will make a lot of memories. If that makes any sense. I tried, folks. But I'm going to let it down there to about 22 feet right here and we'll try that because I see some shad showing up at 22 feet. Now I'll tell you what, on this braid there's no stretch. So what I do is I flip my bail over when I'm fishing with live bait, especially live bait. I'll flip my bail over and hold it with a finger. Alright, when I get a bat, I'll let the fish run a little bit and then we'll we'll put them in the boat, hopefully. Alright. There's a fish, got that shiner. I don't know how big he is, but we're fixing to find out. Let's get him. Yep. It's a good one. Sure is. Better than anything I've caught today. As far as bass is concerned. Boy, I love to hear that braid peel off of that drag. This is a big spotted bass. That's what this is. Look at there, what a spot. Pretty good one. That braid is so sensitive, folks. Come on back. Come back here. You need to stop it. You're being a bad baby. Don't tear my bucket up. <laughs> Let's get him right here. That's a good fish right there. Good bass. Let me get away from the... I don't want to scratch my Yamaha motor up. Not no giant, but a lot better than what I've caught today. I've caught a lot of bass today. A whole lot of bass. Let's let him go. Nothing that size. It's not been that kind of a day. Not been a big fish day unless it's going to start that way. Go on back. That water is hot, folks. Go on back. And he hit deep. Real deep. All right, let's see if we can catch us another one. Oh boy, gets in my hole about every time. I come up here one morning, about an hour before daylight, run in there, thought I could fish. That old guy's in there fishing like crazy, man. He's catching every fish that he can, putting them in a bucket full, top full of doggone fish. I told he does is watch other people and he'll slip in there. If he sees you catch a fish, why well, you might as well forget it, man. You might as well find you another fishing hole. I guarantee you that. That's the way that old man does. He had a bait an old guy ever seen got old hair on the back of his neck, old gray hair. I tell you what, boy, I'm gonna find me another place to fish. Well, he's putting up more than one. I thought I'm near here. Pretty good largemouth. They fooled me for a little bit. <laughs> Golly. They got the power out here in this current, folks. Now then, that's getting a little bit better. Come on in here. We, we got you. Not a whole lot better, but we're getting a little bit better. About a two and a half pounder there, maybe. Just let him go, you pretty thing, you. Yes, you are. Go on back. Alrighty, folks, that's going to be about it. I've caught fish to 
give out. I'm not kidding. There's just so many you can load up on the video. As far as the bass, they were all carbon copies of each other. Just schooling fish, the bigger fish, well, they ain't showed up yet, but they will. Now look, I want to say, give a, a special shout out to John Marino. I hope I spelled your name right, or said your name right. What did I say? I hope I said your name right. M-O-R-E-N-O. -E he wrote me a letter right here, sent this rod to me. It's six foot eight. Uh, and uh, he is, uh, he says that he's been watching these videos for a while and appreciates your videos, especially when Elmo comes on. Okay. Um, he, uh, a little bit about him, he's a uh, disabled vet. I can't fish like I used to, but I still go and fish. I'm also a pastor on YouTube, Pastor Reed Marino Ministries, and I'm also a rod builder, builder and a custom rod builder. We have a Facebook called Trinity Rods. If you would like, check us out. Well, I tell you what, I broke this rod in right. I caught three good crappie on it and couldn't, didn't bring me any jigs, folks. I relied on live bait which is the best bait for crappie. That's what they eat. That's just an opinion. I want to say thank y'all very much for watching. Everything y'all do. And...